Well, it's uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. Not exactly four in the morning, but it's six o'clock in the morning. And today is October 15th. So like today I would be in Santiago, but I'm not in Santiago. So I got up at 4.30 in the morning and I decided to come to the lake and try to do 5K. I've done two and three have been my two recovery walks so far. So five will be, you know, something like double that. There's no one here. There's not even anybody in the parking lot. There's no early morning runners. There's nobody. Maybe because it's Tuesday. I don't know. But uh, I don't even know how much I'm going to film. I'm just going to go for a walk. But I guess I could film whatever I want because there's nobody in my way here. It's about 40 degrees out. Even with my hoodie, I'm cold on and I'm like fat and insulated. So I guess nobody wanted to brave it tonight. It's about an hour and a half till sunrise. So that's what you get for living in New York in October. I don't have one of those cool new iPhones with the night vision or low light photography. But I think I'm going to upgrade soon. But I'm out at the end of Long Pier. And you can see the daylight is on its way. There's a part in Interview the Vampire where Louis is sailing through the uh, Mediterranean and he says, oh how I wanted those waters to be blue, but they weren't, they were black, night waters. And when I sailed through the Mediterranean, we, uh, we got on a, a ferry and it was night and when we got off, uh, we left Barry in Italy and landed in Greece. I don't know where we landed in Greece. I can't think of the name, but uh, it was black when we when we set off, and it was black when we landed. And all I could think is, oh, how I wanted those waters to be blue, but they weren't. They were black. Not to be a creeper, but I find it really hilarious that this guy is like in the workout center doing like working on the treadmill, like. Meanwhile, there's a gigantic natural like pathway here on like a beautiful sunrise, but he's indoors in a treadmill. I mean, it is cold out here, but like they built this pathway and so many people walk it every day. But uh, yeah, I prefer the treadmill inside. Once again, I don't even know how well it'll film in this light, but I just love seeing these ducks out on the water with the sun reflected off of them. It's just really cool. They're just chilling out here. You can see how much it's brightened up in the last hour. I've been a little bit over 2K and it's been a little bit over an hour. And now I'm going to the other side of the park. Okay, sun's up. It's official. Well, probably about 15 minutes ago. I'm at like an hour and a half now and four kilometers. So that's not bad. It's a little bit over like 20 minutes a K, I'm doing like 22 minutes, 21 and a half minutes. And does my foot hurt? Yes. Right where the toe is broken? Yeah. Uh, but like not too bad. I thought about just being like really adventurous and trying to walk the entire lake, but um, I think I'm gonna go another like K and turn around. So maybe do like seven instead of the five I planned, but I'm gonna give up soon because I don't want to push it too hard and I also kind of want to come out tomorrow and try to do like back-to-back -back walks that'll be really ambitious so but I can't really show you the sun rise now because it's just all gonna be lens flare but it's out it's bright and uh, now people are starting to come out all the people that didn't want to come out for sunrise are all out now because it's light out well Done with all that nonsense, I can take a break. Summary, we did seven kilometers, uh, and it took me two hours and 32 minutes, and the pace is uh, 21 minutes and 46 seconds per kilometer. That doesn't sound horrible, but at about 5K, I just hit the wall, 
couldn't even film anything at that point. Then about 6K, I think I got my second wind. Honestly, right now, I feel like I could keep walking, but uh, I'm not going to because I don't want to hit the second wall. And I also still maybe have some hope that I could come out and do a few kilometers uh, tomorrow. I'm sitting outside uh, on the deck chairs by the lake now. But it's farther than I've d done before. Obviously, I did a f two and a three, and now this is a seven. So tomorrow, if I try to do back-to-back -back ones, I maybe might not try to do seven. There's pain in my foot. It's also like the gait is wrong now because I was walking on the outside of my foot for like, well, over six weeks now. And so I'm like trying to correct that. Uh, I've never had to recover from an, like an injury like this before. So it's really weird. And I've talked to some other people that have done it more than I have. And um, they say a lot of the same things that the, the things that you do to compensate actually like make things worse and then you have pains like not where you hurt yourself oh i've said this probably in every episode so far but like i did not expect it to be this hard i really didn't expect it to be this hard um like when i hit that like 5k like wall i was kind of like man if i ever even do this camino should i like just try to do like a shorter thing should i do the anglais I'm still thinking about that. I just don't know if, like, it's even going to be feasible. Like, I'm just thinking about what my body was capable of doing, like, two months ago. And what it can do now. And just with winter coming, I don't know how much of a chance I'm going to have to, like, build my endurance and everything up. I don't know. Maybe it's really time to go to the gym. But, uh, I do feel good after 7K. I feel good that I accomplished it. I was actually at, like, 6 and three quarters and I was like oh my god I'm just gonna walk around the building at the welcome center do some laps to get that last quarter k so uh I guess it's uh 8 30 a.m maybe it's time for breakfast all right buon camino everyone